In this video, I will explain important concepts in ETL and data warehousing testing, including ETL process, stages, and activities. Remember, ETL stands for Extract Transform Load. ETL testing is done to ensure that the data that has been loaded from a source to the destination after business transformation is accurate. It involves the verification of data at various middle stages that are being used between source and destination. ETL testing often is done in five phases. The first step is to understand business and requirements. Next phase is the test planning, following by designing test cases and preparing test data. Phase four involves test execution with bug reporting and closure. And finally, the last phase would include producing summary reports and results analysis. ETL testing activities usually start with identifying data source and requirements, following by data acquisition, often and staging, implementation of business logics and dimensional modeling, building and populating an analytical queue, and finally, building reports, which may include OLAP analysis, simple reporting, and or data mining. There are many types of ETL testing. Some important ETL testing types include production validation testing, which is done on data that is being moved into production systems. Source to target testing, which is to validate whether the transformed data values are as expected or not. Application upgrades is a type of testing to check whether the data extracted from an older application or repository are exactly same as the data in a repository or new application. Data completeness testing is to verify that all the expected data is loaded in target from the source. And data quality testing includes syntax and reference tests. In this video, I describe key concepts of ETL testing, including five phases of ETL testing, various ETL testing stages, and last but not the least, various types of ETL testing. 